Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, these were my Diplodanias, or they are my Diplodanias. Uh, some places call them Mandevillas. Uh, the Diplodania has the, uh, the glossy smaller leaf. Uh, quite lovely. They do really, really well. Uh, they are a uh, trailing or vining plant. Uh, usually they're growing up trellises, but this year I had them in a hanging basket. I was actually hoping to get them to trail a little bit more. But uh, they're staying a nice bushy plant. Anyway, I don't have the space in the house to bring these in, uh, so I'm going to take some cuttings. Uh, it is the wrong time of year to take cuttings, but we're going to give it a whirl. Um, so anyway, uh, they do best with taking soft wood cuttings. So those are the ones that are all just green wood. Uh, no, uh, no dark brown woody stems will root for these. Um, but never say never. Sometimes, uh, sometimes things happen that uh, are out of the norm when dealing with plants. So anyway, uh, they say to take cuttings in uh, late spring, early summer. It is fall. The nighttime temperatures are dipping way down. Um, but like I said, either either I just let this whole thing go to uh, get taken by frost, or I could try to take some some cuttings. Like I said, also I don't have space downstairs, which you'll see the the grow space, or maybe you already have. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video, but uh, let's uh, let's attempt to take some cuttings from this. Should be fun. I'll keep you posted on how they grow. Uh, so anyway, let's take some cuttings. Um, it's said that uh, you want to take um, between six and eight inch cuttings. So I'm just uh, randomly taking some healthy looking stems and trimming them off. Don't worry about damaging any flowers. We will be taking those, uh, those buds off. Trying not to grab a branch that's extremely branching. Uh, I'm going to take uh, five or six stems. Get my arm out of the way so you can see what I'm trying to do. Uh, just be careful of the sap that comes from these. These are like poinsettias. They, uh, they leak out a white liquid and uh, that is potentially an irritant. So uh, just be, be wary of that. So anyway, this plant uh, I will put off to the side, and we will take this over to the potting zone and uh, pot these up. Show you what I'll do. Okay, so I've got some uh, some peat moss that I will be uh, using as a potting medium. I'm taking a piece of paper towel, sticking it in the pot. As you know, this is my usual method to keep any uh, soil from sneaking out through the bottom if this will uh, do what I want it to. I've got a little bug on my arm. Um, so let's fill this pot up with some peat moss. You can use regular potting soil if that's what you have. Anything that's good enough for uh, um, seed uh, germination. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to trim off all of the flower sections. Again, this stuff bleeds, so you want to make sure to well, try your best not to touch it and get it on your fingers. If you do, just wash it off. And if you develop a rash or anything from this, um, just be aware so you don't uh, make the same mistake twice. Just, uh, like I said, cutting off these blooms. You don't want these left on the plant because it takes so much energy for the plant to produce the flowers. That, and you want it to uh, produce roots instead. So I'll set these cuttings away. If you don't uh, think you're going to be able to plant these cuttings immediately after taking them, uh, it's best to wrap the cuttings in a damp paper towel and put them in a Ziploc bag. You want to maintain the moisture around the plant. And then you can probably buy yourself uh, a few hours, maybe even a few days. So anyway, all the flowers are removed from these cuttings, all the buds as well. Oh, I got this one. I didn't see this one. Do, do, do. Wonderful. Now everything is cleaned off. I've got this, uh, this pot. I've got uh, a Ziploc bag that we're going to be using as a, as a greenhouse. I'm going to be removing also uh, the lower section of leaves maybe two nodes worth of leaves 
and then we're going to take a pen or a pencil and make a little hole and then just pop the cutting right into the hole. Again, here we go. We're going to remove some of these leaves. We're going to go up about two inches and make a little hole in the soil. Just plunk it right in there. This one's got all kinds of side growth. I would just uh, remove the side growth. We don't want it uh, using up too much, of it, uh, too much of its energy. Make another hole here with the pen or pencil. And we got two more here. Like I said, I'm going to uh, keep you posted on this. See how it grows. Fingers crossed, because I really enjoy these plants. They're not terribly expensive to go out and buy, but uh, still, if you could do it for free, that's even better. So I'm going to get some water here. Get a few pumps going on here. I'm gonna stick it in its bag. I'm going to give it a drink. It's good that these stay moist. I'm going to keep it in this, uh, this um, Ziploc bag for a few weeks. I'm going to open the bag up periodically to uh, do a moisture exchange. Uh, make sure it's still watered, uh, moist, as well as I don't want the, uh, the humidity to get too, too high. I want to open it up and give uh, give some fresh air to these cuttings. Um, in about a week's time I'll probably uh, half open the Ziploc bag so for, for a little while it's going to be completely sealed. In about a week's time I'm going to just open it up just like so so that there's uh, some air flow and uh, it's still going to keep a lot of humidity in there. Um, I'm also going to keep this with uh, some bottom heat. I have uh, a heat mat downstairs I'm going to keep it with that. If you don't have it, just leave it in a warm spot. Uh, under my grow lights is a nice warm spot, but I'm going to keep it with some bottom heat. That should help things out a little bit better. Anyway, like I said, I'll keep you posted on these. And uh, anyway, stay tuned for more updates and uh, happy growing. It tends to produce uh, flowers on the growth tip. So as it tries to grow, it might try to produce uh, flower buds. So just be aware of that.